Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I will be able to create more content for you. So now without any delay, let's start. Now as you know, I have done in the past a couple of tutorials in regards of some CSS effects and many others. Someone asked me in an email if I could show and if it's any uh, easy and free way to create a type writing uh, effect in uh, WordPress using Elementor. And yes, of course there is, is uh, also a free plugin that you can use. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how so without let's go to our installation and i'm going to use my usual uh, wordpress setup here it is the e-commerce uh, this is the same site i've used last time and as you can see here we got some um, text on the main page and this is what we're going to change using this free plugin. So let's go back to the uh, dashboard of the WordPress and you want to add to plugins, add new plugins, then you type typing effects and this is the, let's go back here, let's click on that one and is the first one that comes on the list and it's the Typing effect by the 93 Digital. This is one I'm going to use. Uh, well over 20,000 active installation. So you create and then you press activate. There are also other plugins you can actually use anyway. But this is the one we're going to use today. So once that has been activated, we're going to go to typing effect. And based on your requirements, we're going to create some words. So let's go amazing variety of plans starting just $6. And let's say we want to change the word plans and we want to use multiple words. So we go back to the first sentence. I can actually remove or actually change that one here. So the first one is going to be plants, flowers, and again, I can actually add more and more if I wanted to. So let's start with two for now. I'm going to remove that. Here we got the actual type speed, the delay of the start. Again, if you want to wait one second, we can do one millis uh, 1000 milliseconds. That will be one second right then is the back speed the back delay the loop if you want to loop it and how many times or just leave it for a, a limited just don't do it shuffle if you want to just do it on a random order that's up to you and again once you're happy with this we're going to do create short code and again here you can have the actual preview right so that is the actual uh, short goals we're going to use on top here. Now I'm going to pages, all pages. Let's put this one here. I'm going to the home and I'm going to edit with Elementor. We're going to the text we want to change so we're going to work on this part here and this is the actual part we want to change so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to change that here I'm going to remove plants I'm going to create a space control V so as you can see here we already got the changes made I'm going to update this one so I'm going to show you how it looks here 
I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, plants, flowers, so on and so forth. Again, the actual, uh, you, you gotta go to the actual preview to make sure if it goes too fast, logically, you wanna change that, all right? Now, let's do 90 and see how fast it goes. And as you can see now, it's much, much slower. The highest the number, the slower it goes. So let's go to 150. So I'm going to regenerate the code here. Or again, or, you know, you can actually, rather than regenerate, you're going to change the speed. You can change it from here, from, to an, from, from 40 to 150. Don't forget to update. Again, this is quite big. So it might not actually work properly, as you can see here. So let's do this first and uh, and as you can see it's much slower all right so let's go back and let's make it a little bit better and I'm going to remove the stuffing from just here I'm going to update that a second and I'm going to make it smaller so you can actually see the plants the actual word after of so let's do this here now I'm going to go to style typography and I think I'm gonna try with 2 em again you can work in pixels is up to you how you want to work I'm going to refresh this one and see if we can get everything in one line so as you can see, now looks much, much better. So that is how simple it is to create this effect. Again, I can actually add row and let's say pots. For example, I'm going to regenerate that. Gonna copy back here. And I'm going to paste it and save. Now I'm going to refresh. And we should have the new one here with pots as well. So it's plants, it's flowers, and now should be pots, as you can see. Now let's say you want to change the color. You can actually add, if you don't know how to do it, you can go to w3schools.com where you can actually see some span tag here where you can actually add the color. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna uh, copy this part here. And this is how simple it is. I'm going back here, Control V. Again, you can actually change the color whatever you want. I'm leaving for blue at the moment. And don't forget to copy the last part. Uh, let's go back here. That is span, okay? Without this one, you will have a problem. So once that's been done, I'm going to change that. Now I'm going back once has been saved. And I'm going to refresh and now the actual word should be in blue. Again, if you want green, just press green. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. Let's go back here, change the word blue with green. Save it, and as you can see, the actual color has already been changed there. So very simple and easy to do. And as you can see, the actual color has been changed. So guys, thanks again for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also please share them if you can. That will help me a lot to create more videos. Thanks so much guys and I hope to see you next time for my next tutorial.